Oh, thank you for watching this video. This video is brought to you by newqbo.com. That's our QBO blog. So we have all kinds of great articles and uh, video tutorials. So you may want to check it out, newqbo.com. So in this video, I'm going to discuss how to record prepared expense and set up split them across the 12 months. It could be less than 12 months or the split uh, over a certain time frame. So I'm going to show you uh, two things, record pre prepared expense and then uh, write up prepared expense. All right. So here's a case scenario. Let's just say you pay twelve thousand dollars for advertising uh, up front, and you like to split them across uh, twelve months for next year. Okay. So that's the focus of this video. So let's get started. I'm going to go to QuickBooks Online. The first thing you need to do is, uh, if you don't already have it, set a prepaid expense account. Uh, uh, I'm going to show you how I did it here. So the prepaid expense, it should be part of uh, uh, part of a prepaid current asset in here. So it's right here. So as you can see here, prepaid expense, current assets uh, as a type, and the detail type is prepaid expenses. Okay, so I'm going to show you how I did it here account type is current assets current assets and the detail type it's on the list is prepaid expenses so select that one and if you're going to use prepaid expenses for all the uh, all kinds of uh, uh, prepaid type then you can just select prepaid but in this case I just selected prepaid for advertising only so if I do advertising and uh, record as prepaid then I can just select this account and uh, save and close okay and I have already recorded the prepaid expense in here I'm gonna show you how I did it okay so the vendor is Ace Advertising and I paid this uh, uh, in November 2019 and uh, the category I've selected is the prepaid expense this is from your uh, chart of accounts with the current assets make sure this is other current assets and uh, and the description is I'm paying this for a 2020 subscription and it's for 12 months okay so I want to uh, uh, record this 12,000 uh, uh, payment as prepaid and later on I want to write off over 12 months for next year okay so I'm gonna save this close and then I'm gonna go to uh, recording transaction one I'm going to create uh, recording transactions in here gear and recording transactions on the list okay and in here I want to create a new one and the transaction type I want to use is uh, uh, I want to use journal entry type I just want to use journal entry and click click OK okay so and uh, template name you just need to uh, create template name I just want to say write off uh, advertising or you can uh, name a vendor name or something like that uh, and the schedule type is the type is you want to schedule this not remind you or unschedule it uh, remind means it will remind you then you have manually uh, uh, post it you know but schedule I want to do it automatically and uh, interval is monthly uh, on first day of the month and start date let's say you want to do it in 2020 January 1st okay and the end is uh, by or you can select after 12 occurrences so you have basically 12 right and you paid uh, thousand dollars so the debit is your advertising advertising expense this uh, this is the expense one you're writing off now and it's coming out from your prepaid expense account so your prepaid expense account other current assets right and every month you want to write off one thousand dollars and the credit it comes out from uh, prepaid expense account okay 
and uh, I have plus one plus version here so you may not have a plus so in that case it doesn't matter so I just want to say I want to use something as location in here and uh, you won't have that if you don't have plus or if you're not using class location and the name you can select the vendor if you want uh, this is the vendor one the ace advertising okay so what this will do is it will expense to uh, your promotional advertising account expense account and it will come out from your prepaid which is your current asset in 12 months it should be all clear or all you have to do is a save template and it will start every month uh, first one is January 1 and then February 1 and so on okay so January 1 and 12 so you know it, it really depends how many months you want to write it off so in this case I'm using 12 months 12 occurrences okay and save it so that's all you need to do and uh, uh, so next time you know in January you will see automatic uh, transaction in here and at some point if you want to uh, don't need this and you want to edit or dupl do duplicate for some other things you can do that or you can pause whatever or delete uh, you can do that but basically that's all you need to do and it will automatically post uh, and uh, when you go to journal entry you will see it's posted in here so in January okay and in PNL you will see uh, expense for January and next next uh, for next 12 months okay so that's the focus of this video that's 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 how you do it but thank you for watching this video we have all kinds of free video tutorials so you may want to check it out and be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channels if you like this video we have all kinds of good videos and uh, youtube.com or was slash PP controller and we have youtube.com quickbooks qbo the one you're watching thank you again have a nice day bye